Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on Command Line Tools for the Operating System, Part 1. Today we're going to talk about what command line tools are, and then we're going to discuss some operating system command line utilities that you can use. And with that, let's go ahead and begin this session. We're going to start with command line tools and what they are. Now, command line tools can be a utility or a set of utilities that are accessed from the command line interpreter, the CLI. Usually, it is accessed from the desktop, but not always. When you do have the command line up, you can use forward slash question mark to find out what modifiers can be used with which commands. Now, when you want to access the command line from Windows Vista or Windows 7, you left click on the Start button, and then in the Run box, you type in Command or CMD. That'll get you access to the command line. On Windows XP, you left click on the Start button, and then you click on the Run, and then you can type in CMD or Command into the Run box to get access to the command line. Now let's talk about some operating system command line utilities that you can use. We're going to start with directories. And the first command lines that you should know are MD, RD, and CD. MD stands for make directory, and it can create a directory in a given location. RD stands for remove directory. It deletes a directory if the directory is empty, which means it has no files or folders in it. CD is how you can change directories. It's the navigational command. Now let's move on to DEL. DEL stands for delete. That erases things. DEL can delete files and folders, but not directories. Then there's format. This prepares a hard disk to receive data and installs a file structure, as in FAT32, NTFS, or GPT. Caution. If you use the format command, it will delete the file structure table, which makes recovering previous data rather interesting. Now let's move on to some copy commands. So of course we begin with copy. It's used to copy a source file or directory to a named destination. Copy didn't have quite the utility that Microsoft was looking for, so they came up with Xcopy. It's a more robust utility than copy. It can use to make an exact duplicate of a source. You can use it to duplicate a program onto a CD-ROM or flash drive. Then Microsoft came up with RoboCopy, which stands for Robust File Copy, and it's shipped with Windows Vista and newer. And it is the functional replacement to XCopy, and it is, again, more robust. Now let's move on to taking care of the hard drive. The first command we're going to talk about is disk part. It stands for disk partitioning. It's a manual method of partitioning a disk. It's an advanced tool that can manipulate disk space from the command prompt, even when the disk management graphic user interface is not available. Now let's talk about CHK DSK, check disk. This checks the integrity of the designated disk. It can help recover files in some cases of corruption. A companion command to check disk is FFC. That stands for System File Checker. It's used to check the integrity of systems files on a disk. It can help in cases of a system file corruption that have been caused by a virus infection. Now let's move on to some other commands and let's talk about task list. It displays a list of all tasks and services that are running on a machine. It also displays memory usage and the process identifier, the PID. Now you should run task list before you run task kill. This is used to end one or more tasks or processes, and it can kill the task using the PID or the image name. Then we have shutdown. Shutdown is a manual method of forcing a shutdown, restart, or log off from the command prompt. 
And that concludes this session on the command line for the operating system, part one. We talked about what command line tools are, and then we discussed some operating systems command line utilities. Now on behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session, and I'm sure we'll do some more.